Hey everybody, my name is Bree Simmons and I'm here today representing Noma KC. And my name is James Everard and I'm representing AIA Kansas City. Welcome back to the latest installment of our Explore Architecture series presented by AIA Kansas City and Noma Kansas City. Today we are discussing the stages of architectural design. Remember, all of these episodes are in conjunction with our Explore Architecture Career Guide, which is on our website, so be sure to check it out. The building process is like the lens of a magnifying glass. It starts as a big picture and gets more and more detailed as you zoom in. It starts with an idea, develops through iterations, becomes detailed in construction plans, and results in a building after construction. Here is a summary of the many steps involved in the building design process. The programming, or the pre-design phase, is about problem seeking. During this phase, the scope is determined for the work to be designed. At the beginning stages of the project, the architect works with the clients to determine the wants and needs of the project. Right, such as interviewing staff, or walking the existing building, or using programs to create helpful diagrams and drawings. During the schematic design phase, the basic form of the building starts to take shape. This is where the form and spaces of the project are established. Right, so the overall area of the project is set, but also proportions, scale, height are all elements that are considered for future phases. The design development phase builds on the basic idea from the schematic design and begins to refine and enhance the project. This phase of the project refines the overall design. Ideas get clearer and the project becomes more into focus. Renderings and images begin to look more realistic as the plans are developed and the project continues to move along. This phase is about preparing detailed drawings of the project and coordinating with multiple team members. These drawings will be used to build the project on site. This phase is where the documents for construction are developed. The nuts and bolts of the project are drawn for the project to be built. Right, Bree, and this is also at the stage where the details of the project are created. This explores how different materials come together and are documented for the final building. This phase breaks the project into pieces that can be estimated, and a cost can be applied to the project. This cost can range depending on the market at the time. Now in this phase of the project, the construction documents are priced by contractors and subcontractors. They develop an overall cost to be used by the owner for the project in building. This is over items such as structure, mechanical, roofing, and windows, and so much more. This takes place over a set duration of time. It can take weeks, days, or months, depending on the complexity of the project. This is where the project goes from a drawing to a real building. The architect ensures the built project matches the design drawings. Coordination is a big factor in design. Structural, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, all factors will affect the overall design and end result. The process may appear linear, but it is rarely linear. Typically, architecture is a back and forth process. This is the fun phase of the project where the architect gets to go on site and see the building come to life. It's also where the architect works with the builder and helps with any questions that they have on accomplishing the design. Thank you for joining us for this exploration of the stages of architecture design. We hope you've learned about the many phases of a project through concept, development, and construction. Be on the lookout for more videos. And if you're looking for more information on how to become an architect, check out our website. See you all next time.